America's greatest homecoming is underway here in Stillwater, and the energy is as high as ever. Many events and activities have taken place during this historic week, but the first of those being Harvest Carnival and the Chili Cook-Off. Harv Karv, as many students are calling it, is a two-hour event with plenty of food, fun, and festive activities. Harness Carnival student executive Garrett Bichetti has more. Yes, so in the Heritage Hall, we have the Chili Cook-Off, and in the Expo Hall, we have the Harvest Carnival. Um, the Harvest Carnival is the Greek houses, student orgs, and res halls. They put together games that they build themselves, and kids from the community come, and they come and play the games and get free candy. Each group builds their own game, and it has some sort of theme to go along with homecoming. Um, I am here with the Student Union Activities Board, and we are here to teach students about the facts about some of the heroes of Oklahoma State University. And some of the heroes that we have are Dr. Shrum, Warren the Cowboy, uh, we have Pistol Pete, um, and we have Henry Bennett, just to mention a few. Flipping it over to the food side of things, the Chili Cook-Off. This event was student organizations and residential halls only and it's quite simply how it sounds, a competition to see who can cook the best pot of chili. I had a chance to talk to one of the judges to get the scoop on what it takes to be a chili champion. Uh, I mean, well, we have, we have a general structure that we're basing our decisions off of. One's gonna be, of course, the overall taste and, and, and how well you enjoy the dish. Um, also, as well as the texture and the consistency of the, th of the ingredients you've added. And then another thing that we're also considering is would your recipe uh, appear to a larger customer base, almost kind of in a, in a restaurant type of setting. So we're also assessing them on that as well. Similar to the Harv Carve games, some dishes have themes to them that make their flavor unique. Entomology Club member Walker Jones spoke on how they utilized honey to spice up their batch. The main caveat being um, spicy honey in it which is uh, with Entomology Club. So we thought that, oh, honeys, bees, Entomology Club, it all fit in thematically. And so that's what we've done every year. Make sure you turn into the Daily O for all things OSU. From Ocali TV, I'm Jaron Davis.